Good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. And I'm Vladimir Dutit. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Moscow accuses Ukraine of attacking a Russian oil depot. We'll have the very latest and take you inside the town of Erpine, where Russian forces have been driven back. A big move by the White House to tackle soaring gas prices. We're going to tell you when Americans might start to see some relief at the pumps. President Biden says, quote, Americans are back at work after the U.S. added 431,000 jobs in March. He is set to address the reporters. Within the hour, we'll have his remarks live. Plus, Anna Werner has new information on Hertz customers who say they were arrested because the company wrongfully reported their rental vehicles as stolen. We'll hear from a Hertz employee who had it happen to him and show you an actual police encounter that took a scary turn. And 48 Hours investigates the kidnapping and disappearance of a California millionaire. I'm Tracy Smith, 48 Hours. A tech exec and cannabis entrepreneur kidnapped. Would this eerie surveillance footage solve the mystery? That's coming up on CBS News. Looking forward to that reporting uh, and also Anna's reporting on Hertz. We've been talking about it all morning it's long. Crazy. It really it's crazy is. that it's still sort of lingering. That yes. it, you know, there hasn't been a remedy yet. And more people are contacting Anna Warner to tell them their stories yeah. and how uh, they've uh, also uh, been faced with some of the similar accusations uh, that were not true because mm -hmm. they claim that they were innocent. We're going to dig into that a little later. But meanwhile, our top story, Moscow is accusing Ukrainian forces of launching an airstrike on an oil depot on Russian soil. Those claims haven't been independently confirmed, and Kiev has not said whether it was involved. Holly Williams reports from central Ukraine. In the farming village of Mala Shestonia, 